Shalom to the nation of Israel. This is Baruch Zal coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the Plasters of Great Millstone and to the hopeful like pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. So this lesson is titled, Yahweh is not going to destroy the whole entire world, right? He's not. So let's go to We're gonna pull up, pull up a different app. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So a generation, a generation of people, right, is going to pass away, right? So Esau's kingdom, his people are going to pass away, all right? The, the kingdom of Israel and the people of Israel are going to come, right? New Jerusalem, right? But the earth abideth forever. So the earth is not going to be destroyed, right? We're going to rule on this planet. Okay? Very simple. So anyone who says that's going to be like a nuclear destruction, the earth's going to be hit by a, a meteorite or a comet that's going to destroy the earth, that's why you got to leave and go to Mars. They're talking nonsense, right? They're talking rubbish. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh, with ever everlasting salvation, who is through Yahweh Shai, because he's the Lamb, Right? He's coming to save the world of Israel, not the whole planet, not the whole world, just the world of Israel, because it's different worlds. Right? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Right? So the planet is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay here. It's not going to be destroyed and die and all that nonsense they have in the movies. The, world, the planet is going to stay. Right? Earth is going to be here. It's Eden, you know. Most High made this one. I mean, all the planets, but this one is a very special one, right? Genesis eight and twenty-two. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease, right? So the earth is not going anywhere. It's not going to be destroyed by a comet. Right? It's not going to be an apocalyptic nuclear destruction that's going to destroy the whole planet. Right? right? Now, missiles are going to come. Nuclear missiles are going to come and destroy areas on the planet. Right? Like Babylon, which is America, is going to be destroyed. Um, areas in Canada is probably going to be hit too. Um, Israel, for sure, is going to be hit with the missiles and other small areas. But those are the main two places is Israel and America. Okay? But the whole planet is still going to be good. Right? And at the end of the day, right? Israel's going to be re, uh, reborn and re-cleaned uh, up and re, uh, re, uh, repaired because we're gonna, that's going to be our kingdom. That's going to be our headquarters of our kingdom, right? But America is going to be a, a waste, a wasteland. But the point I was, was going to say is that we're going to have the power to bring things back anyways, right? <laughs> we're coming back in new bodies. New bodies. So this is the last one. Second Ezra 6 and 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held, her, held first the heel of Esau, right? Because we're the ones that are going to be pulling him down. Because Esau it was first, right? We're going to be pulling him down from that high place he is, he's in, right? From the heel, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to be bringing down this, uh, this uh, uh, generation or this world of Esau. Right? To its knees. Right? And everyone, if you know anything about sports, right? When you, when you blow your Achilles tendon, you're pretty much done. You're never the same athlete ever again. Like, it's, it's very hard to come back from that unless you have, like, some HGH growth, growth hormone and stuff like that. But pretty much your, your career is done. Right? Because the Achilles tendon is so, is so uh, important. Right? Which is in the heel area. 
So us, being that, uh, that battle axe of the Most High, we're going to chop down, we're chopping down Esau from his heel right now, right? By pushing out the word, going to the highways and byways, making the videos. And yeah, Howard Shai is going to bring that, 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 the final blow, right? Which he already is bringing the blows because he is the word. But he's going to come back and bring that final blow, right? When he comes with uh, Michael and the angels, right? Because he is also that, uh, that, uh, um, that rock of offense, right? Verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world, right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So we're Jacob, Israel, we're the, the, the beginning of the new world. Esau is the end of the, the old world, right? So it's very straight and simple, you know, straight to the point, self-explanatory, right? The Most High is not going to destroy the whole planet because Israel, Israelites, Israel, under Yahweh Shai, under David, under the 12 apostles, Right, then the elect we're going to be ruling on the planet. So why would he destroy the planet? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I hope this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. And shalom till next time.